Oh, this is never a video you want to make. And God, I am tired of f***ing making them. If you missed the parental advisory sign on this video, you should really check it out. Make sure you uh, understand the language that's probably going to be used in this video. We give you a couple seconds to click off if you need to. So, much to my dismay, it turns out that even a fucking supermoto is not immune to these fucking scum of the earth people who can't keep their dirty fucking hands on their own property. Yesterday, normal day. I woke up in the morning, I went to work, and I rode Jackie to work. Just in case you guys don't understand. You guys, I know you see a lot of videos on Holly, and I do ride Holly a lot. But my, like, daily rider, with the bike I ride to work every day and all that kind of shit, that's, that's when I ride Jackie. I just feel like it's a smarter bike to ride around this shitty fucking town I live in. So that's what I do. And then I go record on Holly, and that's just, like, the thing. But that's why you don't see Holly, or that's why you don't see Jackie around. So, come out to my freaking bikes this morning. Like, hey, I'm gonna go ride to work today. Holly is sitting there underneath her tarp, chained to the fucking wall. And that's it. No other bike there. Somebody has stolen my fucking supermoto. If you're new to the channel, you're probably thinking, Aw, oh, man, that sucks. That must really blow to have a bike stolen. If you've been subscribed for any length of fucking time, you know that this is the third fucking bike I've had stolen. I have never gotten a bike stolen from the exact same apartment twice. I have moved every fucking time, and my problem con fucking tenues. I do not understand the, are you gonna fucking pull out you stupid bitch? I do not understand what I did to piss off Satan so fucking bad that he's like, you know what, this guy, fuck him. We're gonna get as many bikes stolen from him as godly possible until he stops riding fucking motorcycles. Well, to you, good sir, I say fuck off. Why is it so hard to own a fucking motorcycle? I do, I, it, it, I cannot fathom the type of integrity of a person it takes to say, you know what, you know what I'm gonna do today? I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna steal somebody's fucking bike. I'm going to go and take something from someone that does not belong to me, that, that they have worked hard for, and they continuously work hard for and love, and I'm going to take that from said person because I want it, or because I want to profit off of that. What kind of fucking sick-ass person does that? Like, wh how did you, were you molested as a child? Why are you such a pathetic excuse for a human fucking being? I, I do not understand it at all. Obviously, I filed the insurance and all the, the fucking police shit as if it's going to get found. Oh, God. I, I love the conversation with the police officer of, hey, my bike's stolen. Ah, okay, cool. Gives, ugh, gives no shits. I know I'm pissed off. It's just really frustrating when... You work really freaking hard to have the stuff you, you have and somebody just feels like that it's good enough for them to just come up and fucking take it. I just, I, I am at a loss for words for those type of people. I'm really pissed off that they waste my breath on this freaking earth. I wish they would all just die because it's, it's really freaking frustrating. Luckily, like... I was talking to a buddy of mine today, and he was like, well, if, I mean, at least they didn't take Holly, and I'm like, yeah, they were nice enough to leave me a bike. Oh, man, how, how thankful am I? Ugh. And in my local area, this is the 
second bike that's been stolen. In the last three weeks, both of our bikes were stolen. He was riding an R1, and he doesn't even live in downtown Atlanta. He lives, like, outside of Atlanta. So, the whole, like, oh, you shouldn't live in Atlanta, that doesn't fucking work. Because people outside of Atlanta getting the shit taken, too. I had my normal chain around Holly like I always do, but I didn't have a chain on Jackie because I figured it's a fucking supermoto. It's not worth a lot. It's a cheap fucking bike. What are you going to make off parts on that? Walk across the street. I'll fucking hit you today. I swear to God. What are you going to make off parts off a bike that's worth brand new? Like, I can get a... I can get a 2004, I mean a 2010, a WR250 for like four grand. What are you going to make off a bike like that? I, I don't get it. I do not get it. What are you doing? And now people can't fucking see a motorcycle. That's fucking great. God, I'm... This day sucks, man. Today really fucking sucks. You just, you can't have nice shit. And you have to work hard just to keep the shit you buy. Like, what what kind of world is that? Like, not only do you have to work your ass off to make the money to buy the stuff you want, but you can't even keep it. You have to work your ass off on top of all that to stop people from taking it. What kind of fucked up society do we live in? Ugh! Fuck me, dude. I'm sorry this is a fucking rant video, but I mean, every time I've moved, you know, like, I know there's a lot of new, not a lot of, oh my god, I'm gonna fucking hit you. Yes, run. Run across the fucking street. For you new guys, I'm gonna run you through, like, the, I'll run through you the timeline of my theft process. First, R6, I lived in a shitty fucking neighborhood. I get it. You know what I mean? I, it's, I, I understand. I lived in a bad neighborhood, didn't live in a gated area, didn't even, or I had a gated area, the apartment, but I never parked the bike there. Don't ask why. I don't know. So then my bike gets stolen, and I'm like, you know what? That was dumb. That was really dumb of me to park my bike there and not try to take more care of it. So what do I do? I move to a different apartment in a better neighborhood with a gated parking area that I actually parked in. I, I, oh, I also, I was like, okay, so I'm now in a gated area. I'll park it right in front of the door that all the apartments come out of. What happens then? My bike gets stolen. And I'm like, that's, that, oh, oh wow, okay. So what do I do after that? I move to a much better neighborhood. Like if I was in a three, I'm now in a 10, all right? Wow, your exhaust is really messed up, dude. I'm now in a 10, like a level 10 neighborhood. Very good neighborhood. Like I can walk to a store at night, totally fine. It's gated, I'm behind the gate. My bike is now locked to a freaking wall. I now have a security system on my bike. I have a couple of other things on my bike. And the one cheap bike that I have behind the gate gets freaking taken. I cannot express the frustration that you feel after three bike thefts. The first time you get a bike stolen, you feel sad, all right? You lost something you loved. The second time you get a bike stolen, you feel numb because it's mind-blowing that that happened to you again. The third time it happens, you just get fucking pissed. And that is the position I'm in now. I am just fucking livid that this is an issue. I'm like, great, so now I'm gonna have to buy, like, when I, whenever all this shit gets settled out, if they don't find my bike, I'm now going to have to get, if I get another supermoto, I now have to get all this fucking safety equipment on it so it can stay mine. I've just spent hundreds of dollars on a motorcycle to make it stay mine. The fact that I have to say that with any sort of seriousness is absolutely ridiculous. If this all happened and I wasn't doing anything different, I was staying in the same place and my bikes were continuously getting taken, I get it. I get the little troll comments of, ha ha, that's what you get, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, fuck you. But when you're constantly doing something to change your scenario, 
to ideally stop this fucking problem. Like, what the hell? Who deserves that? God, dude, what? Who the fuck? Who the fuck, dude? Who the fuck? That's what I want to know. Fucking scum of the earth. Don't understand it. I don't even want to understand it. I just want all those people to stop wasting my air. I don't want them to die. I want them to just fucking croak over and die. That'd be freaking phenomenal. Oh yeah, let me just fucking drive through that too. Man, I'm no, this, this is not a good day. It's not a good day at all. <sighs> Regardless, I'm just gonna sit here and fucking vent and ramble and whatever. Sorry for the fucking language. I'm too frustrated to try to vocalize how I'm feeling, so... Curse words are the easiest way to convey that emotion. I appreciate you guys watching the videos. I've actually got some videos recorded on Jackie that I'll push out the schedule and edit them out soon or edit them and get you guys see them soon and until then guys just please 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 lock your stuff up lock your freaking bikes up regardless of where you live where your bike is just lock it up please at least buy a you know a $50 chain like a heavy duty look at that truck look at this fucking truck what is wrong with people man what I uh Anyway, getting off topic, like, go, go to fucking whatever website you want that sells motorcycle accessories, and for the love of God, buy a $50 heavy duty chain and lock your bike to something. Like, I, I'm being dead serious, just do that. If you want to keep, if you want to keep your vehicle at all, like your two-wheeled vehicle, you need to lock it up because people will fucking take your shit. Please learn from my three fucking incidences. Ugh. Please lock your stuff up. I'll see you guys on the next one.